with lifestyle changes. People don't usually include enough vegetables and fruit in their diet. Moreover, by consuming more meat, as well as fried, grilled, spicy food, and coffee, one is more susceptible to developing gastritis, gastric ulcer, duodenum ulcer, and stomach cancer. Many upper digestive tract-related diseases can be identified through endoscopy, including esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. The importance of early detection and early treatments are evident. However, the discomfort associated with traditional endoscopy, such as nausea, vomiting, and sometimes severe pain and discomfort, have discouraged many people. Now, there's a better choice for you. Unlike traditional endoscopy, which causes discomfort, painless endoscopy offers patient a better examination experience. During the examination, patient will be sedated and relaxed. Furthermore, painless endoscopy offers many benefits, including minimized discomfort during examination and improved examination quality. Which allows physicians to conduct a thorough inspection to identify the existence of any lesions, and thus provide a better chance for early treatment. Endoscopy is recommended for people aged forty or above. It is also recommended for people to have endoscopy every two years, if no obvious illnesses are present, to ensure a healthy upper digestive system. However, if you are experiencing unknown upper abdominal pain, gastric reflux, vomiting, and swallow difficulty, it is recommended to seek medical attention as soon as possible for optimal care. Prior to examination, a health evaluation will be performed by physicians, and a consent form is obtained so endoscopy can be arranged. On the day of examination, sedation and painkiller will be administered to relax examinee. In the meantime, monitor will be in place to monitor vital signs, including heart rate and breathing, throughout the examination. During examination, physician will use a long and lean tube to examine esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. Through the scope, physician can clearly observe the upper digestive system and to identify any existing lesions. When necessary, a biopsy will be obtained during the examination, which usually takes five to ten minutes to complete. If the examination is scheduled in the morning, it will require at least eight hours of fasting prior to the examination. And like dinner, it's recommended as opposed to heavy meal prior to examination. Fasting starts at midnight and ends after examination, which includes water, beverages, medication, as well as cigarettes. After the examination. Examinee will be resting for about 30 minutes to an hour, and normal activities can be resumed after examinee regain full conscious. Food consumption is not allowed right after examination. However, examinee can start drinking small amount of water an hour after examination, and if one is not experiencing any discomfort, light meal can be served. For examinee. With biopsy taken, food consumption can be resumed two hours after examination. It is highly recommended for one to take on a healthier lifestyle and to include regular endoscopy examination to benefit from early detection and treatment. By making careful lifestyle choices, one can live a healthier life.